Hello everybody. In this video, I'm going to be demonstrating the ways to take a bracketed image in your Panasonic G7 camera. I have a Panasonic G7 camera and uh, I found this particular option very useful to take high dynamic range pictures. So that's my camera as you would notice. Uh, notice a left tile mode which has um, a bracketing image option. It's a stack of pictures with a plus and minus symbol on it. So put your camera into that particular mode first on the left dial. Onto the right dial, you have to choose either the P, A, S or the manual mode. So you cannot take these pictures in auto intelligent mode of the camera. You have to choose one of the modes which is either P, A, S or N. I'm using the P mode. Now let's go ahead and open the menu in system in the camera and see which menu should be chosen to take your bracketing images. You may also want to focus the picture before obviously you take the image. So I'm simply using my autofocus function. You can also use the manual focus function to do that. The menu is basically uh, in section 2 of 8 in the, in the pictures option. Go into the menu of auto bracket and you would see different styles. There are two styles that you can choose basically the single mode or the burst mode. The single mode requires you to, to take pictures as many number of times as you would be using the exposures so if it's three exposures that you want to use you'll have to you know depress the shutter three times in multiple mode you have the option of depressing the shutter once and it will automatically take three pictures one after the other so i am going to for this demonstration purpose i'm going to use a seven is to one ratio where i would be taking seven images right from minus three to plus three with zero as a reference in between so let's go ahead and take uh, bracketed pictures. Uh, this is a very simple menu option in Panasonic G7. Go ahead and focus your image and depress the shutter. The camera would automatically take seven pictures simultaneously. And once the images are taken, you can go back to your post-production software and combine those images. Okay, now having taken the picture, uh, you have to go and use one of the software called Photometrics. Uh, I'm using the trial version here just for the demonstration purpose. Go ahead and load the pictures here. And uh, as you had rem remembered, we had taken seven snaps. So I'm going to quickly load those seven pictures in Photometrics software. It's a very good software. It basically uh, combines all your images and creates an H HDR image as an output use the ghosting option uh, because especially in my case i had handheld it but even otherwise i would recommend using all the options which are mentioned here uh, which will basically remove all ghosting and align the pictures so the software is doing its work and creating an hdr image as you can see uh, once the image has been created you can go and apply various styles to the image so i would um, suggest that you know as you can note, as you see in the right hand side of the picture there are various styles available so you can choose from one of these styles uh, whichever suits you this is a very easy software to use uh, uh, especially for beginners so i found it very easy to just use this software called Photometrics. It does, however, leave a watermark in the final image. Uh, there you go, that's the final image, uh, HDR image. And as you notice, it's this watermark left in the picture, which I believe would go if you take the pro version. So it's up to you to take the pro version. Thank you for watching this video. This was a short demonstration of taking HDR pictures. Thank you very much.